Now joining us live via Skype is Dr. Austin Obina, who is the front line of COVID-19 fight in Denver, in, California, in Canada, beg your pardon. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Now you're a front line health worker in Denver. You want to tell us how has it been like over there? Um, it's It's been uh, rather tough. Um, as you know, we, we uh, the U.S. is now the epicenter of the of the disease worldwide, and um, um, Denver is is one of the uh, states in in the U.S. that is really really badly affected as well. Now, what what kind of figures are you seeing at, at the moment? Um, right now. Um, Denver or Colorado has a total of about uh, 3,000 uh, to 3,500 cases, and we're seeing about three to 400 new cases on, on a daily basis. Now, I, I want to ask, what, what's the general disposition of the people right there in Denver? What is it like? Is it that of optimism or that of despondency, given the, the, the pandemic? Well, people are, are very afraid. Um, and uh, everybody is taking this uh, really, really seriously, and uh, people are, are being very, very cautious and, and uh, trying to stay uh, away from crowded places so that they do not get this. Now, it's it said that the response of America should be a learning point for other nations in that the response showed um, a sluggishness and an underestimation of the, of the potency of the virus. Would you agree to that? Well, I, I think initially uh, most people were really caught unawares, um, especially because of the early numbers coming out of China. You know, it, it did not seem like it was as as serious as everybody thought. But once you know um, it, it started um, coming around, and people saw what was going on in in Italy, in Spain, um, everybody then understood that this was a really serious situation. Now, now, is what we're seeing in America to be assessed more on the level of a state by state policy and intervention rather than a national one? I think so, mm -hmm. because if you kind of see what's going on in New York, I think New York was a little bit late in responding uh, compared to uh, states like California that took rather quick action. And so I think what's going on in the U.S. reflects uh, the regional response um, that, that happened. And New York was a few steps behind uh, states like California. And, and that's why I think it's so bad in New York. Now, from your knowledge of Nigeria, what would you say are our strengths going into this COVID-19 battle? You know, I think for Nigeria, uh, it's going to be early contact tracing, uh, case isolation. Um, you do not want this to get uh, to get out of hand in, in a place like Nigeria because uh, we do not have the uh, health infrastructure uh, to deal with the kind of things that are going on in Europe and in and in the U.S. So I think for Nigeria, the trick is going to be uh, stopping this and containing it early on and not, not let it get out of hand. Dr. Austin Obina, it was great having you and thank you for your time. Thank you very much for having me. My pleasure.